Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jason and I'm your watch guy today. We all know that I love a watch with a little bit of history, something that like captures a little bit of history. I love watches that come from micro brands and I love watches that do something a little bit different. So when I saw Mom's Catalina Aeronautical Chronograph, I knew that I had to reach out to them and ask if they'd be interested in sending them one in for review. And luckily enough for myself, and also you guys, they said yes, which I was actually pretty shocked at. But it has been an absolute pleasure having this watch in for review, and I've enjoyed wearing this so much. It's an absolute beauty. So let me turn this camera around, and let me introduce you to the Marm Catalina Aeronautical Chronograph. So a little bit of history about Marm. They are a Swedish micro brand. They are based in Linkopig in Sweden. I hope I've said that right. Pronunciation of foreign places is absolutely terrible, so I apologize. They get a lot of inspiration from aviation. Lincoln Pig is Sweden's aviation capital, apparently. This one is actually inspired by a plane that was shot down by Soviets in 1952. It's referred to now as the Catalina Affair, I believe. The Soviets shot down two Swedish planes, one of them being the Catalina. Uh, completely denied it until the Soviet Union was abolished in uh, 91. Something that we were probably used to with Russia now, right? They only recovered the Catalina in 2003. So in a sad type of way, it's fitting that this watch takes its inspiration from not only aviation, but it has a little bit of a nautical theme to it too. Uh, hence aeronautical chronograph. Now I said in the unboxing of this watch that Mom have done something quite smart in terms of the dial design of this one to make it look less like a quartz watch. The eagle-eyed of you will know what that is. Obviously I'm talking about the fact that they haven't put a ticking second hand into this one. So as you can see we do have the chronograph hand which sweeps like an automatic watch with that mecha quartz movement, but they haven't put in a sub dial with the uh, second hand on there. So it gives it a more automatic feel, I believe. I think that that's a really good styling choice that Marm have made. I think it gives it more of a premium feel to it, not seeing the ticking second hand at the bottom. So I, I quite appreciate that. So let me talk to you about the dimensions of this watch. It is 41 millimeters in diameter here to here in the case and obviously a little bit wider when you measure with the crowns. It is 13.9 millimeters thick. Lug to lug, it comes in at 50 millimeters, which seems quite large, but I found it really easy to wear. I found it a really comfortable piece. The lugs themselves are 20 millimeters, so you can switch to a different band very easily. However, I don't know why you would want to because this one's absolutely fantastic. This is packed with a Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz movement. It is obviously accurate like a quartz movement, but it also has this mechanical-like chronograph. It ticks away very smoothly as it, you would expect from a mechanical watch. Press that pusher again and it snaps back just like a mechanical watch, just like you would see in an ST19 that really nice mechanical snap that you get. So as you can probably tell, this watch is built in bronze. It is built in CUSN8 bronze, which is a high quality casing to use for a watch. I've only ever experienced it before on the Aquasco Seastar, which I absolutely loved. The appeal of a bronze watch to, to a lot of people is that it patinas. So as you can see, I'll. I'll pop this one side and I'll show you what the watch actually looked like coming out of the box. Very shiny, very new looking, and over a week or so, this has already started to patina. It'll slightly darken in colour and then start to get little, as you can see, patches of patina around the casing. To some people, that's not... Uh, thing that they want in watches but to me I think that's a lovely lovely feature the watch kind of ages along with yourself and I think that's that's something beautiful really isn't it 
So we have a mixture of brushed and polished finishing on this casing, as you can see here on the side of the lugs, a nice polished finish. Uh, it was much more polished when it came out of the box. And we have a brushed finish across the side of these lugs. It's nice to see that they've mixed up the finishing the way that they have. Obviously, again, on the lugs here, we have a brushed finish and it kind of gives a nice effect to the to the uh, watch. It gives a nice slimming effect to it, the way that these sides here are polished. The lugs are bulky in nature and they have some really nice angles, really flows into the case very nicely. We have a really, really well nailed crown on this one. Very easy to grip. First pull activates the date control and second is the hands to switch your time around a little bit. Push that back in. It is a screw down crown. Again, I, I really like that crown. It's also signed with the Mom logo. There, as you can see, a nice high polish finish to the side of it. And this really, really quality nailing effect for the grip. That's fantastic, to be honest. I, I really like that. As we move to this case back, we have a screw down stainless steel case back. Mom logo in the center with a few specifications around the outer edge. This bezel is a 120 click unidirectional bezel. It has five minute indicators embossed in the bronze bezel insert here. As you can see, there's the double zero up at the top here and it follows through with five minute Arabics around this bronze bezel. Something that really sets off the aviation feel of this watch is that double zero at the top, the style of this bezel, and flowing into the design of the dial later on, this arrow here, it gives that really subtle, almost flieger type of look to it. And it's really pulled together very well, I think. Now this bezel is fitted really tightly to the case. And that's not a complaint. I think that's an absolutely quality fit to it. And I like the bezel action on this. The click is very clear, very precise. Absolutely quality bezel, that one. Really good levels of grip around the edge. Almost gear teeth like grip around this bezel. Finishing off the casing of this watch, we have this really, really nice double domed sapphire crystal that covers the dial. It gives the dial a really nice curved effect, but it brings the dial closer to the crystal, I believe. It gives an effect that it's very close to the crystal and it's a very shallow casing, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, this dial is something, is something that you really do want to show off because you've really made a nice feature piece of it. This watch is provided with 100 meters of water resistance between the screw down crown, screw down case back and the rest of this casing. Now, as I mentioned there, the dial is really a feature piece of this watch. Now they do it in a couple of other colors. They do it in a deep blue and they do a stainless steel version also. But I think if you're gonna get this watch, you need this dial. It's absolutely stunning. That sunburst subdued green is absolutely beautiful. The way that it hits the light is just something else. Another nice little feature that they've put in here is that the subdials are also finished in the same type of effect. And in certain angles, when it catches the light differently, the effects are slightly different on each dial. And I think that's absolutely brilliant. I think that's a real feature of this watch and it makes it a real pleasure to look at. So as I mentioned there, we do have two subdials. We have the chronograph subdial over to the left hand side. Obviously this will tick around and this is the minute indicator. It indicates up to 60 minutes. Just press that again and snap it right back. And over to this side, we have an hour indicator or a 24 hour indicator to be more precise. Again, that's another nice feature to have on a pilot watch, that 24 hour indicator. Uh, one thing that I have failed to mention is the cross hatch design on these pushers. Really, really nice design on them. Also, I like that it's not just your simple circular pusher. Each side of this crown guard, we have these almost triangular pushers with this really lovely 
cross hatched type of design on them very very nice and it's a unique thing that i haven't really seen in another watch so it's nice to see that mom have done something very different with the chronograph feature on this watch we have applied indices around the dial with this arrow head that i mentioned earlier at the 12 o'clock again a really nice feature gives you a real pilot style watch type of look these indices are loomed and the loom is actually quite good i'll show you that in a second as well as that we have a border of a bronze type of finish which flows nicely with the rest of the casing and this handset very nice to see that flowing throughout the watch the mom logo is printed at the 12 o'clock in a white print at the six o'clock we have this circular date window it is not color matched it is a white date wheel on this one above that we have the catalina print aeronautical chronograph 330 foot 326 foot sorry 100 meter water resistance on the outer edge of this dial we have this really nice minute track it gives an almost instrument type of feel to the dial something that you may see in a cockpit something that you might see on a dashboard a very nice type of effect to give to this style of watch finishing off the dial we have this really nice sword style handset it is heavily loomed in the center of the hands skeletonized at the base and again that bronze type of finish around the outer edge this chronograph hand has a lollipop type of feature and it sweeps really nicely around the dial when activated as well as that we have the simple sub dial hand indicators which also are finished in the same type of style as the rest of the handset so that gives it a nice so that brings it all together very nicely now to finish the dial i will show you this loom shot just here as you can see really good level of loom on this one and mom have not let us down which is nice to see from a micro brand because they don't always get that level of loom that you expect uh, usually the first thing that a, a small brand will cop out on is the loom but it's nice to see that they haven't now one thing that i really do have to give to mom is this band i wasn't exactly a fan of it when i saw it on the website and i'll tell you why usually when you get a band like this it's not very comfortable it's not very well wearing and usually they feel quite cheap but this is absolutely quality very malleable it feels very nice on wrist i love the stitching this sort of rally style type of strap goes really well with this design everything down to the stitching at the buckle is just fantastic on this strap i really do like every aspect of it we also have this bronze buckle here cusna8 bronze again with the mom logo imprinted on it this band is actually made from vegetable tanned thick calf skin and it is genuinely quality so if there's anything that you carry on doing mom it's it's producing this brand or getting whoever you get to produce these bands to keep doing it for you because it's absolutely fantastic it really is now i'm gonna give you a nice little wrist shot for this one and then we will get into the moan section and there is a moan section this one hasn't passed 100 percent so here is the mom catalina aeronautical chronograph on wrist as i say it's, it's a very nicely fitting watch and it conforms very nicely to my wrist even though i have a smaller wrist size this one yeah it, it's a gorgeous watch and i really did enjoy wearing it for the duration of this review this review period and genuinely i'm gonna miss it once i send it back uh, i think it's gonna go to another reviewer first and then go back to mom themselves and yeah I'm absolutely gutted I'm sending it back to be honest because it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I really love that dial. It's something something else really. It, it genuinely is. Now I may have really enjoyed this mom but there are a couple of things that I do have to moan about. Firstly, it's a quartz watch and not everyone is going to be happy about a quartz watch. A lot of people will insist that at this price range it should be automatic which i understand the point but if you're gonna make a quartz watch 
or quartz chronograph at least they're using one of the better quality quartz movements that they can and it is a mecha quartz movement so it's not exactly your cheap run-of-the-mill type of movement and Seiko you can't can't complain about their movements they make absolutely solid movements now the next thing is the price as I mentioned there at this price range people will expect automatic this one at the moment comes in at 450 euros which I understand is pretty steep for a watch that is quartz or even if it's mecha quartz it's still a quartz watch but in mom's defense this is a completely original design they have used really quality pieces on this they have really knocked it out of the park in designing this watch and it is designed in house and they assemble them in sweden in lingo pig so th that type of thing does add to the price of a watch and i know not everyone takes that into account but you do have to look at that sometimes and you do have to think to yourself well there is a difference between this and maybe something that you're going to pick up on aliexpress and i'm a fan of aliexpress watches but this is this is a different level it really is now when i first saw it i thought that i wasn't going to enjoy the logo up here at the 12 but genuinely it's, it's grown on me i actually quite quite like that now the only thing that i would change about this absolutely stunning dial is this date window the circular date window doesn't really do it for me i would have much preferred it to be rectangular or square it i think it'd flow more with the indices but it is what it is maybe next time so guys that is the mom catalina aeronautical chronograph i am really gonna miss this when i send it back to mom uh, it's going on to another review of first for them to have a, a little crack at it see what they think and then it's coming back to me and making its way back to sweden yeah i'm gonna miss it what does it for me is the mixture between the bronze casing and that really really gorgeous green dial it, it's just absolutely beautiful in person if you want to check mom out their website is in the description uh, they are a micro brand from sweden as i mentioned and they make some really really beautiful watches they've got some really nice ones coming up too that i would love to get my hands on hint hint mom you, you know what my address is now thanks for watching this guys i will see you in the next one